If you love the luxurious look of beading but can't fathom hand sewing countless beads, try machine beading. You'll be surprised how easy it is to create a beaded design with your sewing machine. Plus, beads attached by machine are more secure than hand sewn beads. You can attach beads to a garment or accessory using any sewing machine. No special attachments or presser feet are needed. In this video, you'll learn how to machine bead a simple flower design using round and oval shaped faux pearls. But first, let's review the materials you need. Size 68 or 7010 machine needles that will pass through the beads. Test the needle and beads before inserting it into the machine. A very thin 80 to 100 weight cotton wrapped polyester thread such as Decobob or Invisifil, both from wonderfill.net. Do not use clear monofilament thread as it is too stiff to hold knots. Use the same thread in both the needle and the bobbin. Round pearls up to six millimeters or eight millimeters in diameter and oval pearls up to six millimeters or eight millimeters in length, depending on your sewing machine. To prepare your sewing machine for beading, remove the presser foot and the ankle piece if possible. Drop or cover the feed dogs. I've already installed the needle and threaded it. Set the machine for the shortest straight stitch possible. You may also need to adjust the thread tension, which I'll explain later. Before attaching a bead, secure a stitch by placing the fabric under the machine's needle. Lower the presser foot shank to engage the thread tension. Take several stitches in the fabric, shifting it back and forth very slightly to lock on the stitch. Or if your machine has a locking stitch function, engage it and sew until the machine automatically stops. This is also how you secure stitches after attaching a bead. All of the action takes place from using the sewing machine's hand wheel rather than the foot control. To attach a bead, raise the needle to its highest point and slip a bead onto the needle's tip. Hold it on the tip of the needle using your fingertip. Shift the fabric a bead's length from the locked on stitches, keeping the thread aligned with any design you have marked. Lower the needle into the fabric using the hand wheel. Complete the stitch and raise the needle. As you raise the needle, the bead should fall or roll onto its side so that its hole is parallel with the fabric. If the bead doesn't fall onto its side, increase the thread tension. This is easiest to see with an oval bead. Shift the fabric again so the needle is above the locked on stitches and lock off the stitches. After sewing each bead, remember to raise the presser foot mechanism before shifting the fabric to the next bead position. This disengages the thread tension. Move the fabric to the next bead position and place an oval bead and repeat in the same way around the flower. Here you can see I have attached a round bead as the flower's center and have attached oval beads as the flower's petals. Now that you know the basics, use this technique to create any beaded design you wish.